Hey guys, this is Jennifer with The Family Fudge and today we're having a lunch party. Happy Halloween! Today's lunch is sponsored by Zuru. We're playing with Smashers Series 2. Gross! Those are gross. Okay guys, for our spooky lunch today, I'm kicking things off with our monster meatball sandwich. And for this, I'm going to reheat some turkey meatballs left over from last night's dinner. I'm gonna warm them up in some marinara sauce. Now you guys, these are actually mini sandwiches, so I'm using some Hawaiian bread here. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra sauce. I think this red sauce will make it look extra spooky. And these are pretty good sized meatballs, so I'm just gonna add one, followed by some Havarti cheese. And I've cut the cheese, haha, <laughs> I've cut it in a zigzag shape to kinda look like a monster tongue. I'm gonna top this with a little extra sauce so there's lots of flavor. And then to keep our sandwich closed and to make it look extra monstery, I'm gonna add two little green olives, and these are actually stuffed with a mild pimento. And to get them to stay, I'm gonna use some picks. I think this turned out so awesome, perfect for Halloween lunch party. Next up, I'm going to prepare some Halloween chips and dip. I love chips and dip at a party. And these are kind of my take on a seven layer dip. But instead of starting with refried beans, I'm starting with this really good vegetarian chili. I get this at Trader Joe's. It's very mild and the kids love it. I'm gonna top this with a layer of shredded cheddar cheese followed by some homemade guacamole. Now I wanted to make this guacamole extra chunky so you can see there's big pieces of tomato in there. There's lots of garlic, there's onion, fresh lime juice, it's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that out. It definitely looks very Halloween-like. I definitely think the extra chunkiness of this guacamole looks pretty spooky. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of sour sour cream, and I've added a little bit of milk to the sour cream so it's easier to squeeze out of my Ziploc bag. And I'm just gonna add a little spider web design to the top of this dip. Now to make this look extra festive, I'm going to add some slices of olive, a few chopped up tomatoes, a little bit of cheese all around the sides of the bowl. And then to top it off, I'm going to add a little cupcake ring spider. Now that the dip is all done, it's time to get the chips into the bowl. And I'm using my really fun Halloween chip bowl. I love the little ghost on the side, it's so cute. And I'm not gonna add just any tortilla chip. These ones are really dark purple, they're almost black, and they're a mixture of corn, quinoa, chia seeds, and there's also some purple carrot in there to make it that dark color. But you guys, really, these just taste like regular corn chips. So for our fruit today, I'm going with a candy corn themed parfait. For this, I'm gonna start by adding some pieces of fresh pineapple to the bottom of a clear cup. Next, I'm going to add some fresh mandarin oranges. Now you could also substitute and use canned pineapple and canned mandarin oranges. If that's what you have, those will work perfectly fine. Next, I'm gonna top it with a little bit of whipped cream. This is the kind that comes out of the can, but you definitely could use Cool Whip if you'd like. And then finally, I'm going to add just a few pieces of real candy corn just for garnish. And now on to the veggies. I'm gonna start by making this pepper into a jack-o'-lantern. This is very easy to do, but you gotta be careful with those knives. Next, I'm gonna take one of these little containers I found at the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna fill it with our ranch dressing and then place that down inside the pepper. Then I'm going to add this to our veggie platter. I love a veggie platter for a party. It just makes everything so easy. People can take what they like. I just opted for celery, carrots, broccoli, and some cherry tomatoes. Next up, I'm going to make a very easy no-bake Halloween treat. So for this, I'm starting with some double stuffed Oreos. I'm also using some of this red sparkle gel. This is kind of like frosting in a tube. And to make it really spooky, I have these extra large red sprinkle eyes. And you guys, this is so easy. All you have to do is twist your Oreo. Hopefully all of the cream will stay on one side for you. Next, I'm gonna take this red frosting and I'm going to draw jaggedy shapes all over to kind of resemble a spooky monster eye. Next, all I have to do is place the big red candy eye sprinkle right on top. And as the red frosting sets, it'll glue it all together. Seriously, you guys, this is one of the spookiest but easiest treats you can make. 
Now, it wouldn't be a party without a specialty drink, so I'm making my favorite Halloween punch. This is just a little bit of pineapple orange juice mixed with ginger ale, and to make it extra frothy, I'm going to add just a few scoops of orange sherbet. And then I'm gonna throw in a little bit more pineapple orange juice for good measure. Now you'll notice I have two bowls here. If you wanna make your punch extra spooky, you can add a little bit of dry ice in between the two bowls. And then when you add water, you'll have that really cool misty effect. Someone's here to join the party. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Happy Halloween! Yay! <laughs> Good job, baby. Happy So today the kids are unboxing the Smasher Series 2. These ones have a gross theme, which is perfect for our Halloween lunch. Now with these new Smasher eyeballs, you can actually put the ball back together and the kids can re-smash them over and over. Look at how my ooze do. Those are pretty rare and they're with slime. We found the one that glows in the dark. I got an ooze dude. There's slime inside. Smasher season two will be available at Target and Big Lots. Link in the description below. You can store them in here. It's a collector's tin. Happy Halloween! If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.